Laos will be able to overcome the challenges posed on its way to becoming part of the ASEAN Economic Community, or AEC, because the government has made a strong commitment to this regard. Speaking to our news team is Australian Ambassador to Laos, Linda Wo Tai Sung, said the Australian government is keen to be part of the preparation by Laos, including awareness building on integration for the country's people. Australian Ambassador to Laos, Linda Wo Tai Sung, made the comment during an interview with our news team while attending the opening of an Australian government supported workshop in Vientiane on Wednesday, the 26th of June. The workshop provided information on ASEAN integration and Laos preparations for the move to students from the National University of Laos and others who had graduated in Australia. I think um, obviously for some countries they are already very, very integrated with the international community. So if you look at countries like Singapore, um, that's a very, very uh, experienced trading country. Uh, for Lao PDR, I think um, you, you are a little bit further behind in terms of legislation and in terms of capacity. But I also see there's a huge commitment by the government to catching up. And so, uh, According to the Australian ambassador to Laos, Laos is currently some way behind other ASEAN countries in terms of legislation and capacity. She said it was difficult for her to decide on the level Laos should be at in terms of the country's preparations for integration in 2015, while citing the example of a highly integrated country within the international community. Singapore, which is a very experienced trading country. I guess the, the most important thing is that it will mean uh, better access to a much bigger market. So businesses here in Lao PDR will have much better access to other markets in the region. Um, there'll be a lot more free exchange of goods and people. So there are a lot of really exciting opportunities ahead, I think, for Lao PDR and other countries in this region. And Australia very much looks forward to being a part of that. The AEC will see the free passage of goods and services within the region along with the unrestricted movement of labour, so laws and regulations are needed as effective instruments to manage the free flow. According to her, despite the many changes that have taken place since Laos joined the World Trade Organization, there are still many laws and regulations the government needs to put in place between now and 2015, when all the ASEAN countries come together in the community. It's especially challenging for a country such as Lao PDR because Laos has only just joined the WTO, the World Trade Organization. There are so many changes already taking place in this country. Um, so there are many new laws, many new regulations, uh, lots of changes that will take place between now and 2015 when all of ASEAN comes together in a new economic community. The ambassador also pointed out the opportunities that Laos will gain from the AEC. She noted that Australian firms will have more opportunities because businesses here will have the best access to other markets in the region with more free exchanges of goods and people. Australia has pledged to support the development of the AEC through assistance programs aimed at building capacity by providing training to line agencies in ASEAN countries, including Laos, such as for customs and quarantine. The ambassador stressed that the Australian government is keen to be a part of the preparations by Laos, including awareness building on integration for the country's people. Sure that the AEC building process will actually bring tangible benefits to the peoples of ASEAN.